Hello everybody, welcome into another video. Today I am going to be doing a video on my top 5 underrated PlayStation 2 RPGs. Alright guys, let's get right into number 1. At number 1 for our first choice, I have Wild Arms 3 on the PlayStation 2. Wild Arms is a really great underrated series. This game has a really cool Wild West setting. And the game starts out with you playing through a prologue and the four characters before they meet up and they all team up together. Wild Arms 3 has really good dungeons, really good puzzles. If you like puzzle games like Zelda and you like solving really cool intricate puzzles, this game has some really good ones. Every character in the game gets a unique set of tools that they use to solve puzzles. And the puzzles and dungeons in the game are really, really good. The music is also incredibly awesome in the game and helps add to that Wild West feeling of the game. And then the graphical style of the game has a really cool art style as well. The battles in the game are a ton of fun. And overall, Wild Arms 3 is incredibly underrated. Alright guys, on to number 2. At number 2, we have a Taylor Iris 2. The Azov of Destiny. The first Atelier Iris Iris game was a fun but kind of average RPG game. Atelier Iris 2 though really improves upon the original Atelier Iris and brings a really cool combat system, really good music. Atelier Iris 2's battle system is really unique. You can delay enemy turns, you can see the turn order of when enemies and allies are going. You can battle with up to three characters and there's many different types of attacks you can do in battle, and the battle system in the game is overall really good. The game, like other Atelier games, also has item creation, but the item creation in the game is very simple, and it's very beginner friendly, making this an excellent game for anyone new to the Atelier series to try out. And it's a really underrated RPG on the PS2. Next up, at number 3, we got the original Shadow Hearts. Shadow Hearts 1 is an incredibly underrated game, especially when you compare it to its sequel, Shadow Hearts Covenant. It is one of my favorite RPGs on the PS2. It has an amazing battle system, a great cast of characters with a really good protagonist in the game, and a really, really good soundtrack as well. The thing that makes Shadow Hearts really stand out, though, is the battle system. In the battle system, you'll see that when you go to attack or you use abilities, there's a ring that appears and then a line will go around the ring. If you press the button as the line goes around the ring in the red areas, if you do that, then you'll do bonus damage or heal for more. And because of that, the battle system is a lot more interactive than the average RPG where you select an attack or do an ability and then you watch the animation and that's it. If you like that type of combat system in RPGs where you gotta press the button at the right time to do more damage, then you should definitely check out Shadow Hearts. Really underrated game. It is one of my favorite PlayStation 2 RPGs, and I've been in this game multiple times, and every single time I've had a blast playing through this game. At number 4, I'm going to be putting Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga. This is another really great RPG on the PS2. It's like if the Shin Megami Tensei series kind of did something closer to a Final Fantasy game. So instead of battling with monsters, it's all done with characters throughout the game. Shin Megami Tensei Digital Devil Saga uses the same press turn battle system as SMT Nocturne, which is one of my favorite battle systems ever. Basically, if you hit an enemy weakness, you get an additional turn and you do more damage to them. And not only is the game challenging and the battles are a lot of fun, but the story is really interesting. It's very unique. And the music in these games, it is so incredibly good. When you compare this to the main Shin Megami Tensei games or the Persona games, this game is incredibly underrated. I very highly recommend this game as well. This is another incredibly underrated RPG on the PlayStation 2. Make sure to buy this game and check it out. And now at number 5, we got Suikoden 3 on the PlayStation 2. This was an RPG I got super addicted to back in the day. I enjoyed it so much. At one point through, I went and 100% completed the game. I went and I recruited all 108 recruitable characters in the game. And if you recruit all of the recruitable characters in the game, there's a big secret that unlocks in the game. And I won't spoil it, but it's really cool. This game was super fun. I had a ton of fun with the battles in the game. Another really interesting thing about Suikoden 3 
is that the game has three protagonists who switch between back and forth between their perspectives. And so because of this, the game has a really cool, unique thing where you're switching between different perspectives and seeing the story from three different perspectives in the game. And you're playing with different groups of characters and being able to see a really unique gameplay system that really hasn't been done in too many other RPGs. I thought it was a really creative, really innovative thing they did, and I personally really enjoyed it. Overall, Suikoden 3 was a really awesome game. That is going to cover it for my top 5 underrated JRPGs on the PS2 video. Let me know if you've played any of these, which one was your favorite, and as always, thank you all so much for watching the video. I really greatly appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash shockstorm. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I really greatly appreciate it, guys. And I will catch you all in the next video. Thank you all so much.